Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week I went to Asda for my shopping. I just fancied a change of scene for Tesco, from Tesco, sorry. But I do think I am going to have to go to Tesco and pick up some bits that they never had at Asda. They actually didn't have a lot of, well not a lot, they, there was quite a few items that they didn't have that I needed. Some that I could substitute, but some I just couldn't get at all. I had to pop into Sainsbury's as well and pick up a couple of things, so I'll show you them after. But I'll get on with this right now. So the first thing I got, <laughs> and I didn't intend it, but I am needing a new knife set. So I picked up these, I thought they were lovely. I don't know if it'll be any good, here's hoping it is. Iridescent knife set and you get some scissors in there. They had the same one, but it was in a chopping block and that was £15, but this was only £7. I thought, I'm saving myself £8 by not getting the chopping block. And I don't want to have it in the chopping block anyway. I want to keep them in my drawer. So I'm fairly happy with that. also got an ice cream scoop, which is something that I've been meaning to buy for ages. But I keep seeing the other ones. I don't know how to explain them. I'll put a little picture up if I can find one. But I really wanted one of these ones that have the this mechanism if you want to call it. I can't remember how much it was. I'll put it on the screen when I check my receipt but I wanted that for obviously ice cream. Ali needed some cereal and these were two for four pounds so I got them Frosties and for a change I got them white chocolate Cocoa Pops. They have no restriction on how many items you can buy now in Asda so I picked myself five of these Kenko American Smooth. I ran out. I ran out within a week my my coffee pods like and most of this I really don't need right at this precise minute but these I do because I ran out I had my last one today before we went to Asda I can't believe how much coffee I'm going through on lockdown there's three pound each on offer at the minute so I thought that was brilliant that's why I picked up five. Oh, oh who am I kidding I'm always picking up loads of coffee pods um Ali and I are going to make some sushi some homemade sushi one day this week so I picked up some of the what do you call it, the seaweed the strips of seaweed. I think I think it's either half a cent or one cent for five sheets. So when we divide it all up, I'll have to work out how many cents I'm eating. But it's basically non-existent sins when you're dividing it up. Sushi rice, I don't think this has got any sins in it, but I will double check. I got four cartons of passata because the ones that I got last week, I'm out of already. I got a balsamic vinegar because I've none left. And I got this chalk shot. Which i done, the first time that I've ever done swim, Slimming World, like, it'll be over three years ago now I started it. And I used this quite a bit sometimes if I was having a bit of a sweet tooth. So I got it because, oh, you know the pink and whites? The pink and whites that are two and a half cents. I like putting them in the microwave after a tip <laughs> from Emma, Emma Slimming World at home. But I always eat them and I'm like, you know, these could do with a little bit of chocolate. So I thought... Half a cent for a teaspoon, I could add that on top and that'd make it three cents for a nice little treat. Why are you meowing at me? You've literally just came in. You two, you're wanting back out. I've literally just let you in. Right, okay, take your time, take your time. Right, I needed some of this French's yellow mustard because I've been using it like it's going out of fashion on pastrami sandwiches and deviled eggs. And it was two for three pounds, no, two for two pounds. So I saw this ranch dressing. I knew Ali wanted to try a ranch dressing. And he's running out his Caesar dressing for salad. So I thought, pick him that. Pick him up that and see if he fancies it. The fry light was all down to £1.50 on rollback. I don't know if rollback means it's permanently going to be at £1.50. But I got two of the sunflower oil ones and two of the olive oil ones. Also... <laughs> they're doing the no crust wholemeal bread again. Which makes me so happy. I love this for a bacon and egg sandwich and that so I picked up one loaf of that. I usually get more but A I'm doing weekly shops in the minute and B I've not got any room in my freezer to store the bread. I got eggs, I got 30 of the jolly good eggs because we're going through a lot of the minute with deviled eggs and scrambled eggs and everything so I thought oh just gonna get the 30. I wanted the reduced fat mozzarella you know in the little balls but they didn't have any so I just picked up 50% of the grated cheese, cheddar cheese. This is just for a pizza I'm going to make for myself this week. And then I also, because these are two for three pound, I've got a bag of mozzarella. Because I have some pizza dough in the freezer that I'm going to make one, I'm going to make a Marcanale homemade pizzas one day. 
I have been waiting and trying to get yeast, but yeast has not been in stock in anywhere, even Amazon, for bloody months. So I saw this um, pizza dough, it was in the reduced section at Tesco a couple of weeks ago for 25p. So I thought, you know what, that'll do for some homemade pizzas. And I'm going to make some that, maybe not this week or that, but because the cheese, I was getting this cheese, I thought I may as well get this while it's two for three pounds. These are Philadelphia snacks, the light and herbs. What's it called? Is that what it's called? Light and herbs. I think these are four and a half cents. If I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen. Pastrami, which is my new Slimming World staple. Absolutely love it. I've got two tubs of cream cheese. This is to make a cheesecake for Ali. It's a Biscoff cheesecake, which is his favourite. He loves Biscoff. Um, the unsalted butter to make the base, some whipping cream for it, fat-free Greek yogurt and some fat-free cottage cheese. And I saw these. These are all half a cent each, I think. I know these three are for sure. The Whatever that word is, with chocolate pieces, is half a cent. Vanilla is half a cent and the raspberry, half a cent. I couldn't find online the sins for the white chocolate one, but I'm guessing it is because every other one is half a cent. But I thought, I really want to try that because white chocolate sounds delicious. Got some kitchen towels, just the smart price ones, a two pack, I think it's like a pound. And I couldn't get any other wipes apart from these SIF ones, which are one seventy five a packet. <laughs> I usually pay 75p or something out here all day for the wipes. Oh, but I really need them. We're going through them quite a lot. Well, we went through all the other three packets like in the blinking eye because we were just cleaning everything. All the door frames and skirting boards and handles and light switches and everything and other stuff i got a bottle of flash kitchen cleaner they really didn't have much of a choice in this kind of thing so just picked that up got some potatoes and some sweet potatoes some spring greens which i think it's just cabbage isn't it i don't think i've ever had it before but i think it's just cabbage two red onions some carrots Beetroot, baby plum tomatoes, I got a cauliflower, a sweet or a turnip as we call it in Scotland, mushrooms, two cucumbers, I got these strawberries, they were on offer £2.12 down to one fifty nine for 600 grams so I thought that was a great deal. I could easily munch them over the next two days, I think. <laughs> Maybe they go out of date tomorrow, but you know, unless it's me, I don't really worry too much about dates on stuff. I've got some blueberries. I love fruit with yogurt. I, I like. I don't really like to eat yogurt on its own, and especially like berries and that. I don't like to eat them on their own. I always love fruit with yogurt. And some watermelon fans. I love these from Asda. They're like so cheap. Such a good deal. And these are the few items that I picked up at Sainsbury's. I actually went in because Asda had none of this Biscoff spread left and I need that for the cheesecake. So I went into Sainsbury's just to see if they had any. And they did, but it's the crunchy stuff. But I don't know if it'll be great for cheesecake, but I will make it work. I'll make it work. And if it doesn't, if it isn't going to be suitable for cheesecake, it's not going to go to waste because Ali is obsessed with Biscoff everything. <laughs> Biscoff anything. Um, I also picked up some unsweetened soya milk. I got a bottle of soya milk the other day when I was at Tesco for my mum. I thought I'm going to try it. I'll see how I get on with it because I'm really, I'm still living the fear for the almond milk saga a couple of months ago. But I tried the soya milk and I actually really liked it. I actually preferred it a lot more than I did the... the <sighs> almond milk but it as though they didn't have any unsweetened and actually this is the only unsweetened they had at Sainsbury's as well because I don't mind like the cheap store brand stuff that's what I got for Tesco anyway so that's for me and I've got a whisk oh my god I have been looking for a whisk for bloody weeks weeks I've needed a new whisk and <laughs> I've been in B&M Poundland, Asda, Sainsbury's, Morrison's, Tesco and none of them have whisks because everyone and their mother is currently baking and obviously they're needing some utensils for it so I found this, this was the only one at Tesco, eh, no this was the only one at Sainsbury's that I could get it was £4 but you know what, £4 for a whisk it better be good 
The ones that I wanted at Asda were stainless steel and they were two pound, but they had none left. Ugh, I hope it's I hope it does the job anyway. At least for a good a good six months. What do we think? Can you guess where I've been today, guys? I went to Costco. I'm so flipping happy. It has been the best day since lockdown began. <laughs> Honest to God, I was like a kid in a candy store, just looking at everything. I literally looked at everything. So usually I can't go to Costco unless I'm with Mark's gran who has a membership or my brother who has a membership. Neither of those I'm allowed to see at the minute. But we did some looking in it and my brother said he could actually add me on to part of his membership. But in order to do that, we both had to go to Costco. So I went up separately from him. We went up separately and then we stayed six feet apart at all times. We observed social distancing rules. He needed to go to Costco anyway. He was going up for stuff and I wanted to go up to get a cake for Mark because it's his birthday today. Also needed like toilet roll. I literally am down to my last roll of toilet roll. I needed toilet roll desperately and I wanted to get some other bits and bobs like my Costco must-haves. So we sorted out the membership and all that and then we done sh some shopping. Again, we were six feet apart at all times. It was actually nice. I mean, we didn't proper break lockdown or anything. I'm six feet away from strangers when I'm out at Tesco's and Asda's and Costco. But today I was also six feet away from my brother and it was actually quite nice to spend an hour talking to him, even from a distance. It's not quite sitting down and having a coffee like we're used to, but it was lovely. So don't come at me for sort of kind of breaking lockdown, but also we really never really anyway let me show you my haul uh what i was going to say is some stuff came in double packs and i split it with my brother and also a few things are missing i'll tell you when i go around actually do you know what i need i need my receipt so i can tell you the prices so i got this massive 40 pack of toilet roll i have never used the kirkland brand before but i thought it was nine pounds something for this yeah um, sorry, £10.49 for 40 rolls and it's triple three ply so I thought that was a great deal and I hope it's good. If it's not good I'll just change it next time but that should last us a good wee while. Although since Mark's been here we have been going through toilet roll like nothing on earth. I also got another massive, everything's massive at Costco isn't it? 10 kilos of easy cook long grain rice. This was £9.49 or something, £9.29, £9.29 this was and I usually pay 4 25 for 4 kilos at Tesco so that was a brilliant deal, that'll last me months. I got a big bag of chicken breast, oh that's some weight to that, what is the, I don't know what the weight is to that, it's heavy, it's a heavy weight and that was quite expensive compared to everything else that I got, that was £15.49 for that big bag. Oh look at this. Ali's eyes completely lit up when I brought this in. It's couscous. It's This is the only flavour that they've done. It's East Indian inspired spiced couscous. This is on one of their sale ends. What is it? One and a half kilos of couscous. You know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, Ali loves couscous. He's actually obsessed with it. I have to make sure that I make some lunches for him one, some days because if I didn't, all he would eat would be couscous. Not that there's anything bad with that, but just to give him some variety in his diet. This was £3.99. £3.99 for one and a half kilos of couscous. I spend so much on like little packets of couscous. This wasn't the best deal, but it was something that I needed. I needed the dog's dental sticks. I usually get the ones from Aldi. They're like 55, 65p or something. And how much was that? Oh, that was 6 89 So it wasn't too bad, but it's better at Aldi. I got a three kilo bag of spaghetti, that was £3.79, I thought that was brilliant. And I got these crepes, these were actually in a bulk pack, there were two packs of 20 for £5.29, so I split them with my brother, these are for Ali, I mean, they're going to last them forever, they don't expire until the 23rd of June, so he will get in, be getting them, not very often, not daily, but he will be getting them over the next couple of months, actually June's, the 23rd of June's just over a month away. I really wanted to get a big bulk pack of cheese strings, but all they had were the eight cheese strings, so I just got one. That was like one twenty nine, which is decent price, supermarket priced. I didn't mean to buy this, but I'd, I am in the middle of like replacing a lot of my kitchen utensils. I've already replaced my my groggy frying pan and, you know, my big cast iron pan. It got scrubbed. 
by someone, I'm not naming names, Mark, but it got scrubbed and it's taken all the non-stick stuff off the bottom, so I really need a new one. I mean, I'm not really, really needing one, but this was a good price. This was $22.99 and it is a 5 quart, I don't know how many centimetres that is, but they had one out in the display and it looked pretty much like for like with my, my cast iron one that I want. I don't want to replace it, I don't want to chuck it out, but I just want to not use it all the time because it's been in the family a long time, you know. But I thought that was a great price and that's ceramic. My new frying pan is also ceramic and I flipping love it. So I jumped at the chance to get a ceramic heavy duty saute pan. That's what it's called. It's called a saute pan. I use it like a wok as well. Romaine lettuce. I don't know how much they were. Probably cheaper in the supermarket. I'm, I've no doubt but I wanted some so I got some. How much were you? Two nineteen for them. I got some burgers. These are the best burgers ever. Mark's grand gets these all the time and she used to feed us quite a lot. Obviously not in the last few months or the last year even. But um, I got these were 12 in a pack. So I gave four to my brother and, I gave, and then I'm going to package these up, put these in the freezer for me, Mark and Ali. And they are the 5% fat so they're suitable for Slimming World. I got this brisket pastrami. This is sin free, I think. I'm going to have to check. I should have checked. It's just got black pepper on it, so it should be, because both of them are sin-free. But I thought 400 grams, and it was £4 something. Yeah, it was 4 99 for 400 grams, and it's you, you get very little when you get them out of the supermarket. I'm not even sure if it is 100 grams you get in the supermarket ones, but that was a good deal, and it's a lot in there. And I've been eating a lot of pastrami at the minute. It's my new Slimming World favourite. I got a big tub of paprika. One of the things that I did go in there for was actually herbs and spices because I'm sick of getting the little ones out of Tesco and Asda. I will really need some onion granules or onion salt or whatever but they didn't have any. All they had was paprika that I needed so I got that. I got, these were double packs, both of these were double packs and I gave one to my brother as well. We got pitted green olives, they were 2 99 for the olives and Again, the jalapenos were in a double pack and they were 4 39 for the double pack. I got a big 1.9 litres of soya sauce, the Kikoman soya sauce, which is fairly decent. Um, I go through so much soya sauce, it's ridiculous. So that was 5 69 for that. Hopefully I won't need so to buy soya sauce anytime soon. I got a big watermelon. This was 4 99 I think it is, but... You get little ones the size of grapefruit these days in the supermarkets and they're like £3. It's ridiculous. Oh my god, look at that. I burnt myself in the oven the other day. <laughs> um, yeah, so I thought that was actually a fairly good price. I mean, watermelon is expensive here. Um, but I thought that was a good price for the size of it. This big tub of tomatoes. How pretty do they look? I mean, I usually just get red tomatoes, plum tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, whatever, but I just thought these look so lovely. They'll look lovely in a salad. They'll taste just the same, probably, but um, it's nearly a kilo pack. Yeah, 908 grams, and that was £4 something, I think that was. And here's the thing that I went to... You know what? I'm taking the lid off. So... <laughs> This is Mark's birthday cake that I went in for. It was £10 for the whole one. This is a proper Bruce Bog Trotter from Matilda cake, isn't it? It's massive. It's like... Why well, doesn't look that big on camera? Why does it look that big on camera? It's a big cake, right? It was 9 99 and Mark and Ali have already had a bit. And actually my brother took a bit away for his wife because she's in love with Costco cakes. So that's the reason I really wanted to go to Costco. Um, I mean... We could have just got one of their birthday cakes, but Mark loves chocolate, so I thought I'd get that. Oh, I'm so happy. I feel like I've just done some proper retail therapy. I went to my brother. I'm really not going in for much. Maybe two or three things. The cake, the toilet roll, um, some chicken breasts and that. And then, you know, what did I spend? What was my total? £170. £170 later, I came out with, which doesn't actually look like a lot, but... You know, a toilet roll will hopefully last a while. If, is it, if it doesn't, Mark's replaced in the next one. The rice will last for months. Because I've, the, four, the last four kilo one I got, I got, I think it was two months ago maybe. Maybe just under two months ago. And I've still got a little bit of that left. So yeah, that's probably going to last for about six months, if not more. But I do go through a lot of rice. Lice? 
I do cook through a lot of rice. So that's what I got from Costco. I do not need to go to Tesco now. I don't think I need to go to Tesco now. I hope I don't. I mean, I still have stuff for last week in the fridge and the freezer and I still, I'm, I'm buying more than a week's worth at the minute. I'm just, I don't know what's going on in my brain. I'm just going a bit stir crazy probably in the house and all I've got to think about is food and shopping food shopping and stuff like that so maybe maybe next week there won't be a shopping haul or actually <laughs> as I say that guys listen here's the talking hand as I say that I only got the chicken and the burgers to put in the freezer because I've not got a lot of freezer space at the minute but I do plan on freeing up some of that through meals in the next week and I do want to go back and get some of their freezer stuff like big bags of fish and other bits and bobs so I may go back next week now that I can because I've got my card I've got my own card and I can go up whenever I want anyway thank you so much for watching my weekly massive gigantic <laughs> shopping haul please like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time